What is the best way to start adapting yourself without giving up your freedom? How to identify cues that are sending you to stay in an automatic or default network or default mode? If you are going and if we are going to cohabitate a new world that is emerging, that is shaping as we speak, and then there is a need to start designing a new set of rules that are a lot more congruent and coherent, compassionate for you and for the people around you. Those are the underlying messages that you should always remember that it is only by allowing yourself to pay more attention to your own life, to your inner signals and wisdom that you will be able to master your perception. That is the only way that you can to start controlling the way you are perceiving the things in spite of some of them being uh, triggers, in spite of them some of being noise, in spite of them just uh, leaving you out of your prefrontal cortex and taking you to the automatic zombie behaviors. From that noise, from that automatic behaviors, you have something to do. You have some skills and you can perceive when you are not thinking and you are just reacting. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, whenever you feel drained, whenever you feel tired, whenever you feel that you are completely exhausted, those are symptoms of paying attention to the noise. Those are symptoms of doing the things that you are not flowing with. You are just letting yourself be driven by the noise, by the stimuli, by the news, of course, by the social platforms, by the gossips and by all the people that is constantly talking about things that are not productive and then they are just complaints. They are just complaints. They are just things that we know that we can do we can't do too much about them but we can do a lot about ourselves and we can do a lot about how we handle our own systems so in terms of regulating your emotions it is easy when you want to pay attention to what you are feeling it is difficult when you want to be immersed in the ideas and the things that many people want you to believe. That's one of the symptoms. When you are thinking things and constantly repeating thoughts that are taking you away from what you want and you sometimes don't know how to stop them, those are thoughts that are not yours. Those are thoughts that are either from the past and some probably trauma or emotional experience or they are things that you were watching or listening and they were they stay there they stay there and they make you worry worry is another symptom that you can identify as uh, not yours as something that is about external things and whenever you feel those things what you can do is start breathing start closing your eyes if you can and start writing it down am i really in the present moment in this right moment experiencing something like that this is the first rule the second rule is asking is it real what i'm thinking is it real what i'm uh, allowing myself to feel or is something that was a response towards anything can be a visual stimuli or can be something you read or can be something you listen to so all of those questions that are very simple can take you out of the default network and allow you to think more in what you are doing in your present time so by disrupting these cycles you are changing your inner chemistry and you are now 
turning the profile into neurotransmitters, hormones, and many other uh, chemical messengers that are going to help you to realize that you have the power of your own thoughts. Whatever is happening outside is not our business and we can stop it. And it, this is just the beginning of something that is going to come more and more. Remember that nowadays, these kind of platform, platforms, these kind of social um, media, these kind of things, digital things, are taking your attention through a dopamine cycle that you are constantly craving more and more and more. So this dopamine works like as if you were an addictive person, as if you were someone that cannot stay away from those things. Why? Because you are raising the threshold that you have for dopamine. So the more you raise that threshold, the more you are going to ask for more dopamine from these kind of platforms, from these kind of devices, notifications and noise. The more you stay away from the notifications and you allow yourself to block time without devices or just not paying attention to them and using these tools that they have also so that they don't disturb you and you focus your mind in what you want to move forward, that's the easier way to stop craving for more. And it is just like being on a diet. It is discipline, it is willpower, of course, but both of them work in small pieces. So allow yourself to have one or two hours without touching the phone, without paying attention to the notifications. Just put it in silence or in do not disturb and let it out from your reach. And just try it and see what happens. In those moments, you are going to focus in something that you want to move forward or you are going to just write, journal, relax, meditate or be with your loved ones and have complete attention for them. From those two hours, you are going to increase the time until you reach, probably, why not, eight or six hours. And you are just going to pick up your phone in the morning, probably, and not right when you wake up, after you have done your things in the morning, after you have programmed your day, and probably two hours before you go to sleep so that you also don't pick it up right before you are going to go to sleep. So by allowing that time, but that big period, big chunk of time, without the digital craving, without the notifications, you are going to be a lot more peaceful. And you are going to see that the day has the hours that you really need and that you really can do a lot of things in that time. So just try it, see how you feel, see how your energy in terms of your mental thoughts, in terms of your physical energy is coming back to you and also pay attention to the symptoms that are going to go away and also to the restful sleep that you are going to have. These are the new rules. These are some of the new rules. I will keep mentioning more so that you really get used to a new way of living without the pressure, without the attention on what other people want and paying more attention to your own wisdom, to your own body, to your own mind, to your own thoughts and classifying the thoughts and identifying the ones that are not yours. Thank you very much for paying attention. Have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll be here with you on Sunday. Thank you. Bye.